What is up, Risk Tinkers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Nomination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch. And I like big maps. I cannot lie. These other brothers can't deny. Then a, wha then a, a, wha a map walks in with a way to bitty waste and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Okay, uh, we are playing in the Big Max Open. This is the uh, PRT, Professional Risk Takers, what, fifth open, I think? Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, fifth open, Big Maps only. Uh, we are going to be playing World Domination on Earth 2209 Auto. Uh, set up fixed cars, 90 second turn timer with fog, blizzards off. Portal's unstable. Alliances are on, obviously, because it's fixed world on. And in no particular order, the players in this game, we've got Pentix playing as Purple Flag the Flag, the United States of America. Uh, Pentix has 829 hours played on this account, gone 237 and 404. Ranked. Playing as Green, just coming off of his KPO2 semi finals placement. Congratulations to Chad, XCDude96. Check him out on Twitch. I bet you he's live. Um, I'm going to, is Chad on live? Oh, maybe he's not live. I don't see him. Um, you guys can help me if he is live. Someone go give him a follow, check him out, send him some love because he always sends us a ton, uh, 14, 24 hours in the game, gone 276 and 450 overall ranked playing as white. We've illuminated storm USA flag expert rank player. 130 hours in the game gone 28 and 102. We got Gus from Canada. Gus is ranked as a beginner, playing as yellow. 249 hours gone, 50 and 349. We have Quarantine, flying the flag of Svalbard and Yon Mine. Quarantine is playing as black. City Master, 338 hours gone, 81 and 160. And finally, the old Pete Meown, flying the dragon flag of Bhutan. Kill Pete Strategy VCC. Uh, with 2,398 hours in the game gone, 60, uh, 6572 total, gone two. Three, four, six to seven eighty-two. And these are all of my stats real quick if you just want to see them. Okay. We're gonna be going into battle shortly, and I will resume when we do. Yeah. Yee! Let's go. Good luck, fellas. Alright, so this is World Dom. I'm assuming this is there are points in this room. Let me actually quickly see how. The big mass open is scored so I can play my best, right? Is it just about winning or is it about uh, setting schedule format, format, scoring, and okay. So first is 15 points, second is 10 points, third is eight points, fourth is six points, fifth is four, sixth is two. Similar to FFA scoring, little heavy on the first place. Bounties are flat, three points apiece. Okay. Placement and... Bounties. Okay. Well, I have an okay Europe start. I go fourth. The North Africa line too. I think I take a turn to Europe. This one. Based on this line. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Will that work? I'll just pop the two. Hey, thank you, Polydramas. Just throw some love to the people. Nothing but love. All the people. Yeah, we're gonna see a bunch of good neighbors. We're gonna see people scramble to take bonuses. And then board will stabilize so the alliances i think will matter them i was not looking visible yeah everything looks pretty visible okay so quarantine wants southern africa okay and who says i have to attack me gus has to attack me thumbs up where is gus trying to go A different bonus I could take because three twos and that plus seven mean I pretty much have it. Either one, two, three, four, five. Maybe I just take that Western Arctic of plus four. K 
Okay. I only get four troops, so I don't think so. See how far we can push off the six. I don't actually need to take any sort of major risks in the open. I don't need to roll three when I can just do that. So this structure actually sets me up nicely to have a turn two Canada, turn three Europe, and then I'll have two. Yeah, I don't need to do anything else. Maybe move a troop over that way, but I'm not really in a rush to do that. I think locking down Europe as my second bonus is more important. So we're going to have this on the next turn, and then we're going to have this on the turn after. Uh, turn one, no bonus. Turn two, into uh, plus four into a plus seven. So I'll have two bonuses close, but not exactly touching each other, which is also something you want in Fixed World Dom um, in a points structure for a tournament, right? You don't want anyone to be able to kill you too easily. Okay, and Chad gets the first bonus, and it is a big one. It's worth plus seven. Let me show you the bonuses on Earth 2209 AD. You've got Western Arctic, Northern Europe, and North America, each worth plus four. You have mainland Europe, Russia, Western Asia, and South America, each worth plus seven. Both halves of Africa are worth plus six. Oceania is worth plus five, and Eastern Asia is worth plus nine. If you can hold it. So, ladies and gentlemen, um... I like my start. Gus is going to take Russia here, turn one. Okay, so Chad and Gus both get plus sevens, turn one. It's a bit slow for me, but I don't think they're going to start Smackerino time on my twos, right? And whomever snags this plus four in the middle, probably Chad, I think. Green, one, two, three, four, five. He probably can afford that. So Pentix, turn two, takes a plus seven. Quarantine turn two takes a plus six. I'm actually taking the shittiest bonus turn one. Chad's gonna come out to a strong lead. Let's see what he let's see what he does with it. Does he leverage any of his early game equity? Nobody's taking um Oceania. Actually, we'll still have an exterior two down there. Maybe I can expand into this plus six after, but I want to just secure my, my original bonus before we do anything else too funky. Yeah, Quarantine gonna have to roll a five. Ooh, he gets bad dice. Oh man. Oh man, do you? Oh, he gets really bad dice. Oh man. Yeah, that might be, that might be a good game. That slows you down intensely. So we got Nate. Nate is going to take the other part of North America. Problem with that play is, no, I think he's got it. It depends on if he gets a bad roll on the two here. Okay, he only loses one troop. Should be, nah. You still, I mean, even if you roll that, you still won't. Yeah, we just saw two players lose 3v1s, folks. We just saw two different players lose three v ones. That sucks. That is what we call a crying shame. Oh, did I? <laughs> well, I didn't lose three v one, thankfully. Um, yeah, Gus throws me the thumbs. Yes, I love you too, buddy. I think this is Chad's game to lose, frankly. Based on that open, if I'm Chad, I take this. I go one, two, three, four, five. He's guarding. Okay, so Chad's not playing it the way I would be playing it. And if he doesn't actually leverage that early game equity, he might not be able to be in as commanding of a lead from holding a plus seven turn one. Um, I was expecting, well, I mean, we don't know Chad to be a super aggressive player, but I figure that would have been the line if I was Chad. Well, you know.
Okay. Oh, snap. Cosmic Cowboy with the raid. Thank you, Cosmic. Thanks for, he, is, he is doing what I said he was going to do. Uh, but he isn't actually putting enough troops to take it this turn because he doesn't want to get his bonus broken. I wouldn't worry about people breaking your bonus, Chad. We're all playing a fixed world on game with alliances. Cosmic, I thought you said uh, you were going to be on for a while because you had the play button. Thanks for the raid, brother. Thank you so much. I mean, a tournament game, right? So I can't really uh, hang and chat. But yeah, this is exactly what I thought Chad would do. I just actually thought he was going to finish the bonus turn too. So I have a very obvious claim on my second position. As long as Pentix doesn't get broken, he's fine. I'm certainly not going to break him. I figure Gus plays good neighbor with people. So Gus takes plus seven, turn two. Yeah, it looks like quarantined is the first bounty. So bounties are flat, three points apiece. Uh, I'm not terribly, terribly lined up to take that bounty. Pentix now holds a plus seven. He pops nicely up to 30 troops. Is he going to take a second bonus? Maybe it's Oceania. If I'm Pentix, that's the only sort of inoffensive bonus. I love you too, Gus. You're very, uh, Gus is in a very loving mood. And we, we, we send that one right back. Uh, what's he doing with that six? Just, just puts the nail right in quarantine's coffin. Okay. He wants this. He wants a plus six and a plus seven. Okay. Instead of taking a second bonus. Well, I mean, it is, it's claiming a second bonus. All right. Quarantine takes plus six turn. Oh God. Yeah. He doesn't lose that three. Going to take turn three. So he's really on the back foot now. Um, so it's good game. Uh, it's not, there's still lots of game to play. There's a lot of good. We're playing in a very good neighbor meta. So, okay. Nate also takes his bonus turn three. But for whatever reason, hasn't lost quite as many troops. So he did start with 15. So he still gets five there. Okay. I hold a plus four. I take a plus seven. 100 times out of 100. Because I'd much rather have the plus seven. Okay, that's blocked. So I have half of my Europe kind of guarded. I'm not expecting Chad to break from the top. I'm not expecting Gud, Gus to break from the east. Yeah, so Chad's going to take a plus four now. So I have a plus four, plus seven. Chad has a plus seven. He's going to take a plus four. Um, I'm curious to see where I get to, A, where I get to trade cards, B, um, if Pentix does take North Africa, how quickly? Um, I think my next move is to put troops in... Um, East Asia or Oceania, so I can insist on the future of cards. This move I was expecting last turn from Chad, so he's a bit behind, um, but not in terms of troops, right? He's a bit behind in tempo. He had a really, really good open as opposed to uh, something like quarantine, it's only down to 17 troops. I mean, if the, if the meta wasn't so good neighbor, you might see someone just break quarantine and, and completely take him out of the game. Um, and it looks like Gus is, yes, doing that. Okay, so Gus has decided that he's going to be the one to turn this into a five-player game. Okay. Set. I do have a 10 trade. Can I get this bounty? This Pentix beat me to the punch. Bounties worth three points. Everyone goes up a higher placement. Sucks for quarantine. I think he's already kind of made his piece to it. Ooh, is Pentix trying to take the plus? No, Pentix trying to get the quarantine kill. Okay. Let's see if he gets it. Because if he doesn't, he feeds it to Nate. We'll get a crack. Okay, good game, quarantine. Good game, brother. Okay, he's going to go through the portal. And whoppa. Okay. Pentix gets our first bounty. Hey, thank you for the gifted Saudi gent. 
Yeah, that was just a, a run of fucking really rough luck for quarantine. Um, so sorry to see. Good game, brother. And now we're in a five player game. Where does Illuminated Storm take their cards and or go for a second? Bierno. Up in Asia, okay. Pacific Asia is a single position for white. Okay, he's going for Oceania then. Yeah, he's going for Oceania. Okay, so my attack is here. And then I do a bunch of guarding. This is fixed world dom. I don't trust anyone as far as I can throw them. I want to make my kill as awful as possible. So what does that look like? 16 troops? I'm a big puncher. Uh, my plus seven's worth a lot more. Do I want an open puncher? Uh, this is open into Pentix and Chad. This is open into a neutral position. So that's where I'm going to put my majority stack and make this two more troops larger. Um, yeah, it's not a neutral position. I think that's where Pentix is going, but maybe Pentix takes Southern Africa and I'll be able to take Northern Africa because I have 17 pointed into it. So I'm expecting white to be going for Oceania. So white's going to be getting plus nine. He sees that as favorable, which it was. You're welcome. Um, Chad already has two bonuses, so Chad is done expanding. Gus might like a second bonus as well. So depending on between uh, white, purple, and yellow, who wants to take what will determine where I'm able to take cards. But I put troops in the plus nine um, to help insist on my future of cards because that is the least likely bonus anyone's going to get, unless it's their only bonus, in which case people will probably let you hold it if it's the only thing you have. But it's very large, or large maps only. Hey, call back. So, Chad sees what I see. He says I'm going to continue to take cards there as well. Okay. And what does Gus do with that nine? Could move it through the portal. Where, if Gus were to take a second bonus, which would it be? Oh, is he going to smack that seven? Okay, he's asking. He's asking. So Pentix is going to take uh, what I expect to see on Pentix's turn is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then fortify. So Pentix will be holding a plus six and a plus seven, which is two better than my position, but his will be a single position. He also has 21 territories right now. Sats gets the eight. Okay. Could Pentix kill white? He does exactly what I thought he was going to do, right? Fortify the seven out. Okay, called that. What does white do? White takes Australia here. Okay. Does he have set? Oh, Gus. Just throw you a heart. I don't want to commit to anything. OK. 
Okay, I like that. I like that set. I like that second bonus. So I's gonna be getting what? Plus nine total. Pentix getting plus thirteen. I am getting plus eleven. I'm so I'm gonna be somewhere in the middle. Chad and I are getting the same. Chad's actually not that far ahead of me, but he's gonna set sixteen troops. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, at this point, the only way this game ends is through feeds and suicides and such. I don't really like doing that. Um, it's not really my style of play. I'm not going to do um, a heavily predatory style. I'm going to do a defensive style now um, and let my opponents hit each other if they'd like to. All right, I kind of want to stay out of trouble. If you win Fix World Arm, you get a single bounty. Um, that's a 15 plus three. That's an 18 point game. I'll take it. I'm going to play to win rather than play to suicide or kill feed, which I know is, you know, sometimes what the settings call for. But as I said, right, it's just really not my style. I like to win games. I can't. I like to incentivize winning. So Gus sees I'm not breaking Pentix, so he probably doesn't as well. He probably takes a second bonus for himself. And then we go back. The chip goes back to Pentix. So we're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six for Gus. And maybe I get teamed on, right? Maybe that's how, how it happens. I'm second uh, highest in troop count. Pentex is going to be quite high now. Yeah, 18. Good generation. Pentex has the best generation, I think. So he already has a bounty. Long enough time scale. Pentex wins this game. Um, but how long, right? The game will go to time before that. Okay, Pentix is thinking about what he'd like to do. I don't think we see a break on white. We do see a break on white. Did not expect that. Okay, we did not expect that. Why? He's working with someone. Who? Because why would you break someone right before their turn? Where they're holding, right? Why wouldn't they reciprocate? What is the pl what is Pentex thinking? Third bonus is obviously not going to be abided. But interestingly, white breaks yellow. Why? He thinks yellow's in on it? I think the yellow is in on it. Why wouldn't he break Pentex? Oh man, now I gotta stay out of trouble again. Yeah, well, defensive mode gets me the win or a much higher placement. Second is 10 points. I mean, look, dude, I'm not involved in any sort of war, so there's no upside for me to uh, to take a preemptive strike in something that I'm actually not involved in. Um, and my stack is lined on Pentix now. But I don't break. Putting all that material kind of hides my size a bit. Chad's still ahead of me in troops. Um, is Chad going to kill... 
Gus on five cards. Pentix. No, not Pentix. Um, maybe Nate was working with Chad, but I don't know. I think Chad just kills Gus here, right? Am I right? Is Gus getting killed right now? Holy shit. We are going to be in a four player game. Okay. XC dude takes the bounty on Gus. Now I got to take a third bonus. Wow. Good game. At the end of it all, he still has more troops than me. <coughs> well, now I need a third bonus. I need something. Okay. That does a break on Pentex. And it still gets 14. He's got a big 22 stack and a set. Okay. That's going to go into, I don't think it goes into white. It might. Uh, Pentex might be trying to feed the white bounty for a higher placement. He'll be third and one if that goes. Yeah. Ooh, we. Okay. Gets tripped up by the classic, classic pathing error that we all expect intuitively that New Guinea goes up into Philippine Islands and it does not on this map and it looks like he fails this kill. So I'm going to be the one who gets it. He's still trying. I respect, I respect the manualing, but it just feeds me this kill even easier, doesn't it? Yeah, it just makes, unless Nate has a set, I'm going to get a bounty here, I'm pretty sure. Pentix has to get the best dice in history. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I get the kill in three cards. Is it a good game? Is a good game to Nate? Right? Okay, he does have a set. Wow. Please don't hit me. <laughs> Please hit Chad or Pentex. Oh, hitting Pentex, maybe I can get both. Can I kill both? That would be, that'd be very spicy. Can't, I probably can't kill both. Let's say to Chad, attack Pentex. Yeah, are you cool? Okay, I think Chad is, is with me on this team, so I'm going to get the white bounty. Like this. Good game, sir. I'm going to say to Chad to attack Pentex. I'm going to give Chad the win, but I'm going to take... Nah, oh, because that gives him... If I feed him the... Attack purple. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I should still play to win. Shouldn't feed a kill here. I don't like not. I don't like not playing to win, guys. Well, those are some good days.
Okay. Let's see how it goes. So Chad is holding, gets plus 26. He takes the Pentix bounty. We're actually in a fairly close one. Chad probably still wins the 1v1. Is he taking the Pentix bounty? Good game. Very aggressive settings. Wow. The oh, fucking bloodbath, folks. Uh, 45 minute game. Maybe 40 minute game. Let's see if I can get Chad in the 1v1 here. Probably not, right? Chad kills Pentix. I'm sure you kill Pentix. Are you not taking the kill? Yeah, he's taking the kill. Okay. So he has initiative in the 1v1. He has more troops than me. Let's see. It's going to be a battle. It's going to be a battle. Everything I get is broken. Chad has 52 territory. Yeah, I'm I'm toast. He's got he's got the board advantage. He's got the troop advantage. I get second and one, which is a 13 point game. Should be good. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. But you know what? I shall try, folks. I surely, surely will try. Okay, is Quebec open? No. Is Southern Japan open? No. Okay, and what do you want to do? Keep his 14 locked. Trying to give him as many problems as I can. Trying to maximize the velocity of my existing troops. Um, okay, 79 to... It's eight troops. His 14 is locked. Does he have a set? Okay, does is big. Eight set. And 71 to 79. I might have an edge. I might have an edge. Let's see how much board I can hold if I hold a bonus. All right. What are we at? Card wise. We do have a 10 set. Ooh, this is a close 1v1. I might win it. How many troops are coming down now? I'm gonna break everything, obviously. I have a lucky set though. That might be enough to and the portals are open. I have to be careful with the amount of pockets. Not opening that 14 was super key. Puts it out. Where? Puts it there. Okay. In that pocket I can't really do anything about, so... Oh, slider air. Oh, 
All right, that's a good looking board, folks. Let's give Chad as many problems as we can. Okay, okay, so we definitely doesn't have a set. He has an open 15 stack, it's 74 to 38. I'm pretty sure that's a win here. Do I have any remaining stacks I wanna move out? Three there, okay. I think I'm in a winning position. Not opening his 14 was the key move, I think. In that 1v1. So it looks like we're gonna get first and two. That's 15 plus two bounties, 21 points. Let's not count our chickens, but I feel very confident right now. In terms of troops. And in terms of board, I'm gonna be generating a lot, even if he breaks me. He's pathing it to break Oceania. Yeah, just go straight down. One, two, three, four. Well played, Chad. Well played, sir. Very well played. Yeah. Very well played. Good game. Good game. Big fan of you. Always. Okay. Uh, what's my best line to hold a bunch of shit? Just the way I came. Yeah, love to you too, bro. That's a good dude. That is a mainstay of Risk Twitch. Very generous man, very kind man. And I was super excited to see you in the KPO2 semis, man. That was fucking awesome. Okay, 24 territories, we get him into 23. So that's gonna be... Uh, 23 is seven troops. Maybe he says, maybe he's got a set on three. But I got 69 troops, baby! All right, I think that's it. Good game, fuck yeah. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We're starting the season off large and in charge. Good game, guys. Big map's open. What is that? 15 plus two bounties? 21 point game. Feels good, folks. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of it fun and entertaining. Maybe even a little bit educational and informative if you are interested. In getting better at the game for risk. I invite you to come down to my channel. Give me the sub. Give me the like if you liked it. Um, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching for all of you on the path to world domination. Good games and good luck.